Hey guys, it's Jake from Wild Academy. Welcome back. Today we're going to be covering the if, if else, and if else, if else statement. <laughs> so um, let's go ahead and get started. I am just going to show you what we're going to be building by the end of this program. Uh, so what this is, is I've set this variable, the shoe size, to 10. And then I say, if shoe size is greater than 13, we will echo back a 30% discount. Else if shoe size is less than six, we're gonna echo out this. Else if we're gonna echo out 10, if it's equal to 10, sorry, then we'll echo out 20%. And else, finally, if it's none of these, then we will output 20% or 10% discount. Okay, so here, because it's set at 10, we've echoed out a 20% discount. Okay, so just to get you started, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do if and we'll do mana, we'll change the variable here to mana, because that's what we've, I've shown in the book. So mana, we've set at 43. Uh, we can change the name here too. Not we can, but we have to. So let's set it at 43. So if you're following along, you can type this as well. If mana is greater than, let's say we need 20, and we'll come out here, then we'll echo Echo Spielberg spell casted. All right. So that's pretty much that's the if statement, uh, just the basic if statement. So if I were to save it and then run this, it'll say spell casted. Now if I come up here and I change this to something below twenty, um, in fact, it could even be 20 and it's, it won't run because it has to be greater than 20. So let's just say if this was 18, save, then I throw it in. You'll see that it doesn't show anything. And then if I do 20 again, like I said, you'll see that it doesn't show anything. So let's say we wanted to return something, um, like not just have it return blank. If we wanted to return something in the case that we don't have enough, we could just do else. Then we do curly brackets right here, come below. We'll echo, you've not you've not enough mana, all right? So we save it, let me run it here. You've not enough mana, right there. Mana, mana, whichever. So in, there are instances, like with the example program that we did, so if we come back up here, we change this to shoe size, like we had it. And we'll change our shoe size. Let's make our shoe size nine. Shoe size needs to be greater than uh, 13 will do to get a discount. Echo 30% uh, here. 30% discount. Okay. So this is when there's more than just two possible cases. So before we had it where if something was true, we would echo out or we would do something. And then if, you know, if it's not true, then we're just gonna do something else. Now, multiple conditions can exist, right? So if you'll see in our first example program, there could be, we could have three or four possible results we want to have returned. So what you do then is we're gonna make this else and else if statement here. Change this to a 10% discount, 10% discount. Now, because we're returning multiple things, we have to actually set the uh, condition here. So we'll do when shoe size, when shoe size is less than, well, less than six, uh, then we're gonna return something. Now make sure to have that in parentheses there. Okay, we're gonna echo 10% discount. Coming below it, we're gonna do else if shoe size, oh, forgot my tag there. Shoe size is exactly equal to 10. I'll come over here. Then we will echo, I don't remember what the discount was for this. I guess it doesn't really matter. Let's just do a 20% discount. Right, we can change this to 25 so that it matches what I've written in the book. 25% discount, 
20% discount. And got to make sure we have our semicolon there. Bring that up. And then finally, when if none of these three conditions are met, we don't need to create a final condition, right? Because we just assume that whatever is left will return this. So um, what we'll do is we'll just do else. We're going to drop this down here. And we'll just echo 10% discount. 10% discount. Semicolon there. Go ahead and save it, then you can run it. And you'll see that the 10% discount was returned. It went all the way through. So shoe size, if it's greater than 13, which it's not, so it'll go down to the next one. If shoe size is less than six, which it's not, so it'll go down to the next else if. If shoe size is equal to 10, which it's not, so it'll go down to the, the next one and check else if, or sorry, else the final one, because it was none of these three conditions, it just returned a 10% discount. If we change this to 14 here, and then save it and run it, you'll see that it returns the 30% discount. All right, and if we make it less than six, did we already do that? I think we did. We did the five. Twenty-five percent discount. The last thing I'll show you is multi-line comments. So again, we've already talked about doing the two forward slashes, but if you wanted to do multiple lines, it's just one forward slash and then the star. That's your shift eight, and then it'll just keep going. See how it commented all those lines out. If you wanted to, if we wanted to stop it right here, what we do is we would have the star be on the inside like the inside of, of our comment, and then we're gonna do the forward slash right there. So that'll end. So this is the opening tag of, of the multi-line comment, and this will be the closing. So just to, just remember the order, it's just the star is on the inside, the insides, all right? My name is Jake from Wild Academy, and if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do leave any questions in the comments below, and like the video, and I will see you in the next episode. Peace.